So today I went 6 1 at Manchester Regionals uh, playing Block Dragon Burning Abyss. Came second place, and my matchups were round one by, round two Sky Striker Orcus, round three Pairs Oak Frog, round four Sky Striker Orcus, round five Sky Striker Orcus, round six Salaman Great, and round seven Sky Striker Orcus. So, me going X1 shows that this deck can just beat that matchup quite easily. The only reason I lost my last round against Sky Striker Orcus is because game one he had impermanence for my curious and in game three he had impermanence for my curious. And we proceeded to Phantasme into Nibiru and Nibiru my board. So that's fun. But the deck worked perfectly. Uh, I'd, I bricked once, but I still ended on Postal Dino. Then gears you and bot dragon, so it's fine. So the ratios might be might look a bit off, but everything worked perfectly. So let's get into the list. So we got one graph, one seer, one libic, one farfa. That's all the BAs. Uh, normally I play this with eight to eleven because I like having multiple BAs in hand. But what I've realised is that the BAs aren't actually that good. The only good ones are these two, when you go first, and this one when you go second. And this when you have dodgy hands. That is it. Uh, and Libic does come up a little bit, because if you've got Edge Imp Sabres in hand, you can then uh, summon it off of this, which is nice. But yeah, you don't need any more. You can throw in an Alec maybe, but I don't recommend it. So we've got Rhino. You only play one. Uh, you send it off for Cherubini to then send Graf to then summon Seer. It's just the extra earth and this is okay. I don't use it as normal summon well. Uh, then we play three of the best normal summon, Mathematician, partnered up with uh, one online. So this is one card Cherubini by sending this to Grave. Uh, so this sends any level 4 lower monster, which can send Giant Rex, could send Glock Bulb, could send. Uh, Archiver, Edge of Sabres, anything it is so dumb. You can also send Farfa if you need to out a board. So that's really nice. Yeah, and in this deck, uh, if you see this, first thoughts are Orcus. So you'd think to imperm it. I'll play like 20 extenders in this deck. It, if you imperm this, oh, fine. Uh, Danger, Gallus, anything. This deck's so much fun to play. Plus it's... everything's cost. Oh yeah, cost. Cost, just, just cost. <laughs> uh, tour guide, it's okay. Like, oh, ju just okay. It's okay. Yeah, the, the card affiliated with all of BA being okay. And yeah, it's, better. it's not that bad. <laughs> I prefer to open Mathematician just because it's an Earth and it's, it's a weird one because I'd prefer to open Mathematician, but every time I saw this, I'd rather normal summon this because in the situations it needed it. Uh, the only upside of Tour Guide is when you normal summon it, you can summon that Rhino, which then means that you only need one more extender for the combo to go off perfectly instead of having two extenders uh, through the Mathematician, which is nice, but this deck has so many extenders where it, it doesn't come up much. And we go a stupid card and a semi stupid card. Seeing this like three times today, uh, at one point I banished Sekka's Light, put a giant Vex back into my deck, and drew this. Summoned this off a side you just special summon this. Made Levier, uh, Levier, don't know how to pronounce Levier. Levier. And then summoned Fossil Diner, and then that was game. <laughs> this card is broken. You need to play NBA. Then three of the best extender in Gallus. the deck. Uh, if I could play six, I'd play six. It's an earth, it's a level three, it's a beast, deals burn damage and mills cards. It's made for burning abyss, it truly is, especially this version. And I hit Seco once with it today, which is very sad but still won that game. And then the level 3 extenders, we've got Agent Saber, Tracker, Wilder, and Archiver. Nice to send off of Rhino if you've already got your graph, 
these two are three special summons for level threes. They're both Earths. They're both psychics, so they can be used for uh, curious and a few other little plays here and there. And when Needle Fiber comes out, this is a tuner, so we can have some fun with that. Uh, and Sea Archivers, great card. Summon from Hand or Grave. When Stomach is summoned to a zone, I think most opponents do. So that doesn't specify you. So it could be you or your opponent, which is very nice. It can save you in some situations, like if you're going for game. Yeah, then the dangers, we got Jackalope, Two Snake, and Nessie. Uh, I won't play any more, any less. This is perfect. Uh, this used to be a Gen X Ali Burma, which I really like because of a synergy with uh, Gallus. But everyone I went to said they hated the card and they just rather have other cards in. So I spoke to Tom Rose and he recommended Nessie. And I've not went back since then. The card, it saved me one match very easily. Uh, I had four cards which are unplayable at the time in my hand. Had this. If that was a Birdman, that, that was. I lost that game. So I had this. Uh, it got hit. Searched the Jackalope. Jackalope hits a Glow Bulb. And then just end on Fossil Diner, Dingy Issue, uh, Block Dragon. So. Card's stupid. Danger shouldn't be, shouldn't be a thing. No, should be starts. Yeah. Uh, then the other extenders we've got Rex, one hat tricker, and one bulb. Rex is perfect because it's an earth, it's a dinosaur, and it's special summons when it's banished. So, off of Block Dragon, off of Gigantes, off of anything like that, summons out. Uh, it's a dinosaur, so you can make Curious quite easy with it. And it's a level 4, so you can make that beast with bulb. Uh, Hat Trick is a free special summon for level 4. It's an earth, it's a spell cast to make curious. And then Glow Bulb, maiden card, helps you make the beast very easily. And worst case scenario, make curious of it because it's a plant. <laughs> anyway, this deck doesn't rely on curious, but curious is a massive part of it. Uh, then we got the three dragon rulers. Uh, Block Dragon shouldn't be a card either. Um, banish three earth special from hand or grave, and you banish three earth from your hand or graveyard. Uh, it's a summoning condition, not an effect to summon, so you can do it under dweller if it's in grave. Uh, it's got two five attack, three k defense. When it is fulfilled, you search for up to three monsters, three rock monsters, which equal level eight. So what you do is you search two level fours. We'll get into them in a minute. And you can also search itself if you run out of targets, which is very nice. So it's a last effect is when this is on the field, rock monsters can't be destroyed by card effects. This comes up so often, not just for when my opponent wants to interact with me, but just to mill extra cards with Hydralander, because you do Hydralander effect, mill free. I and mean, if you hit the effect, oh, pop the block dragon, but then it doesn't die because it's a stupid card. It's also level 8, so you can make Dingeas with it. Which is fun. Then for level 4s, we've got 2 Ruxpert, 2 Gigantes. Uh, people play 3 Gigantes are wrong. You need the 2 and 2. It comes up so much more often. Uh, you can make Sage a lot easier with this. Uh, it doesn't conflict with Hydrander as much, and I love have 4 targets in 3. Uh, to be honest, if you. If they break your board, you do want the extra target in deck so you can search it for later turns because this game gives you so much advantage. It truly does. Banish a Rex, summon this, and then just go off. So you two monsters for free, basically. And then the last target for Block Dragon is for Fossil Diner. Broken. So, nice thing about this is a lot monster, so you can search it off of Block Dragon. It's level 4, so you can search with any of these. And it's rock, so it's protected by Block Dragon. <laughs> it, it is protected by Block Dragon. It's also Earth, so you can banish it if you can't get into Saeuja or you, you'd you rather do something else. So you can banish it, summon it out with a uh, Levine. And it is just a game winner by itself. Uh, it won me 1, 2, I want to say 4 matches today by itself. Yeah, 
put this on the board against Sadd with Adam Max and uh, Dengesu. Uh, couldn't out it. Game 3, done the same thing. Couldn't out it. This card's stupid. Then we play 2 Hydrolander. I don't like 3 because I tend to see it more often than I want to. Uh, playing at 2 is fine. Like You don't, you want to see it, but you want to, only want to see it in good hands, if that makes sense. Uh, it makes your be good hands better, but your bad hands worse, so I only want to play 2. And it also mills free as cost, just like my boy Dante. And it's a non-target pop, and it has 3k attack, which is very nice. Also level 8, so you can make Dingus with it, to protect your fossil diner. And then 3 pot greed, plus 1. Ridiculous. Can't, can't really say more about this. Draw 2, and if you don't like one of the cards you drew, just chop it back. Draw another one. Is a pot of greed plus a one card mulligan each turn. It is stupid. So that's my main deck. That is 40 cards. Mm. So now on to the extra deck. Play one Dante. I'm so sad I have to cut it down to one, but there's just not enough. Not enough space in the extra deck, and there's no reason to play more than one. You only need to use it once. One of Livia uh, This is in case you mill block, uh, mill a fossil diner, or if you uh, can get into a rank 3 after your Sayuja, uh, you summon this and banish your fossil diner with a special back with this, which is very nice. Came up a few times today. Then we play a Dweller, a Beatrice, and a Dingus from our XCs. Dweller is pretty good. I made it once today. No, no, twice. I hate that card. <laughs> it shouldn't exist. Oh, it's so good, but. <laughs> There's no point for me to make it because I had Fossil Diner. They wasn't doing anything anyway. Uh, Beatrice is nice just to send a Block Dragon if need be, or Rex. Or if you've got Far Throne deck, I'd say Interruption in case you can't get into Avamax. So you can banish their monster so that they can't beat over Fossil Diner. I mean, Lingiasu is just. It's a stupid card. You don't need to play Orcus to play it. Block Dragon and Hydrolander are good enough. Just summon these, overlay, either send a card, or somehow if you can get a if you can get a Hydrolander called by the graves, attach one. And then you get free protection uh, three times the amount of protection for a fucking fossil diner. It is stupid. This card needs to go. It truly does. So now onto my links, start with the link twos. Got Cherry Beanie. Uh, oh. AKA cost. <laughs> yeah, this card is stupid. Uh, it doesn't matter that Graph and Seer one. This searches them out basically. Send Rhino, send Graph, send a uh, special Seer. Any other level 3 makes you Dante. Then you just go off from there. It is stupid. Then you play IP Mascarina. And this is so you can go into your Avamax, which can't be shown the card effects, which is very nice. Uh, it's also a Dark and a Cyber, so, worst case scenario, you can go into. Uh, curious of it because Cherry Bean is a fairy, not a fiend. So you can special a BA, special uh, this, and have uh, Cherry Beanie, which then just goes into Curious, send Block Dragon, make Appaloosa for two, and just go off and summon Fossil Diner and smile. Then we play uh, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Cerberus. Uh, used Phoenix once or twice a day, it was okay. It's a card which every time I cut, I need it. Every time I leave it in, I don't need it. And service is there. In case you want to just get more cards out of your hands, just to cycle through them. And there's an extra earth, which does come up quite a lot. Uh, then Link 3, play Curious. This card needs to be banned. It truly does. I don't want it to be, but it needs to be banned. It is so strong. Uh, the only reason I lost my last game is because they imperm this twice. Like, I can't do anything. And it's just so stupid. Uh, then we play four Link 4s. play Avamax, Boar Sword, Sayuja, and Appaloosa. Avamax says, uh, Fossil Diner can no longer be destroyed by battle. 
uh, can't be targeted, and when you summon it with IP, can't show a card effects, which is so strong. Uh, it gains attack every time it battles, and if somehow I do out it and send it to grave, you get to shuffle any card from their field back into the deck, non-targeting. So this card it is so us. strong. Most decks just can't out it as is. A bow sword to end games like ODK machine is no, yeah. no more needed. You don't need like. Sometimes you don't even need this because Avamax and Dingyasu and Block Dragon are just big enough, but it's nice to have. Draw 10% of the deck. <laughs> oh, I love Saeja. Uh, so, draw 4, put 3 back, and when you summon this, most likely you've got a Dante and a Block Dragon. So, you're adding a BA from Grave back to hand. You're searching 2 cards of a Block Dragon. So, no matter what, when you... Resolve this, you have seven cards to pick from, which shouldn't be a thing. I mean, any other cards in hand at the start, it's a fair game. Uh, and it also special summons Foster Diner. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or, uh, in my round six match, special summon Terror Top, uh, search Tackle Tomborg, special that, make this bad boy, and then special Foster Diner from a banish pile. It is. It needs to go to one. Like it should be at more than one. Any deck that plays more than one Saeja just shouldn't be a thing. It's just so unfair. This card. And then Appaloosa. This card. Uh, I was playing this deck for a long time without this card. Just at locals, chilling, or and as soon as I start playing with this, first still in for this deck, it's gone through the roof. It, it truly has. This card is so strong. Uh, normally make it with three negates. Stops Nibiru, stops Ash, stops any monster, really. And it just stops just stupid stuff just happening. Like, gives mech effect, special summon itself. Say no, the banish eight. Start decking them out. And it's also a win sick, especially if Taco Tombog wins on field. Comes off of every other sort of them. And the last card, Nut Beast. Can't say more. Unlimited spells. Negates. Oh yeah. Have this and have this. The only out is really just traps. And who plays traps in 2019? <laughs> Apart from my round three Payo's Oak matchup. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> it actually was. Uh, shout out to a guy. He was such a fun guy to play. I love Payo's Oak frogs. I truly do. Uh, then in the side deck, we play a lot of Orcus Hate. So we play. Three Chaos Hunter, three No Material, and two Lancia. It was ridiculous you had to decide that much for Eight cards. Orcus. I don't have to, it's just... How many Orcus matchups was that? Five? Uh, yes. No? No, four. That's four ridiculous. Sky Striker Orcus. That's ridiculous. Uh, this comes up so often, it is such a good card. Especially when you pile it up with either Farfa, Graph, or Rhino. So... Based on the Galatea, you summon this, discard Rhino. Uh, Rhino send Farfa. Farfa banish uh, Galatea. Because this pre prevents your opponent from banishing, not you banishing your opponent's cards. And then from there, they can't make Dingyasu to send this. Which then means, after that, you just kill them. No material is so strong. Nibiru is absolutely shit in this format. And this one actually has synergy with this deck somehow. Because it's an Earth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, also against my, I think it was round four, Sky Striker matchup or Sky Striker Orcus. I numbed his Kagari, so he couldn't redo really much. But lost that game because Scythe is a very strong card. <laughs> and then Lancey is just Lancey. You play it just because, like you have to. Oh, over in bottom. Yeah, it, it's not even auto win. It's just mandatory at this point. Then we go for a back row hate. Free twin. Free red reboot. Yeah, not much else to say. This deck struggles against back row, really. Uh, lucky I didn't play any Geist, but if it was, these would be going in no matter what. Uh, allows me to OTK. Fish just removes any poor magic threats. And then, one last card in my side deck. This is scummy, by the way. <laughs> I only decided it once in my last matchup because I was 
Six minutes left on time. Yeah. Barba. Burn. Uh, that you you have to play it like in your side deck just in case you go into time because this deck actually didn't go into time at all. The closest it got was I think three minutes, and that game was really grindy. But yeah. worst case scenario is a seventeen hundred beta and it's a free special summon. Right. So that was the deck. Burning Abyss? Yeah. Solid locks. Alright. Oh,